All right, seed planters, it is day eight. All right, I'm recording this live on Tuesday, September 27th, or I'm posting this live to you uh, Tuesday, September 27th. I think it's pretty obvious I'm batching some of these messages uh, on certain days. But here's what I want you to do for today. Heart and mind challenge for you is this. We talked yesterday about what are your high leverage activities, and I hope you thought about that. If you haven't done that yet, go back and take a look at it um, and think about what are your HLAs. Okay, today, as you do that, I want you to think about, well, what of my HLAs, what do I need to schedule in my life? What do you need to schedule either every day, every week, whatever it is? Because here's what I know, especially with everything that we all have going on in our lives. Um, you know, we don't have complete control over time. I think we all know that. But a lot of times if we don't schedule it, uh, it never really happens. Okay, so the example I used yesterday with one of my HLAs is that um, it's very important for me to respond to the questions uh, and, and feedback that my team is giving me so I can give them that direction that they've asked for and put it back on their plate because otherwise that project's just gonna sit there until I do that. So it really makes a big difference for me to do that. The good news is it doesn't take me long to do it, okay? So what I try to do when things are going really well and the way I want them to, I schedule 15 to 30 minutes every day, typically in the morning when I can do it, okay, to get back to them. That way it's right back on their plate, okay? Scheduling that time. Again, I could sit here and say, oh, I'll, it'll, I'll get around to it. And maybe I will, but a lot of times when we get around to things, we end up getting around to nothing, right? Because everything else sneaks in. So I schedule that time. And sometimes I might schedule it twice a day, whatever makes sense, okay? What do you need to schedule in your life? As you look at your HLAs, what would make a big difference if you knew, hey, I just put this on my calendar every day. From 9.15 to 9.30, it's there, right? That way I can't shake it, I can't get past it, whatever it is, I'm making time for it. And can you really treat it like a scheduled meeting? If someone asks to do something during that time, uh, use, your di use your discretion, but obviously this is a high leverage activity. It is important for you. So it's probably worth telling them, hey, I can't do it then. I can do it later. I can do it earlier, whatever, but I can't do it then. Okay, try to do that. I want to challenge you to do that in your life and see what happens, okay? Now then, let's talk about your hands and mouth challenge for today. And this one, it's wide ranging, okay? And it is this. I want you to tend your garden. Okay, we've been talking about planting seeds and we've been doing that in so many different ways, right? We've been planting seeds about the cause of the month. We've been sending stuff out about our fundraising program. And we've been talking about the showcase coming up. And we've been talking about engagement posts and asking people what their favorite cause might be, whatever it is. Well, here's what I know. And like I told you, I am no expert gardener at all, but I do give it a shot. Um, but when you're doing that, you can't just plant a seed and walk away, right? Every seed needs nurturing, every garden needs tending, okay? So, all these seeds that you've planted either as part of the challenge or maybe other things that you've already done on your own, what needs watering, okay? What needs to be, you know, I used the term the other day, what needs to be goosed a little bit? Well, what, what seeds need to be watered, okay? What need a little bit more attention from you? What needs some follow-up, okay? Um, the flip side of that, what needs less watering? You know, some plants, you overwater them and that it doesn't do good. So are there any instances and in seeds that you planted with the challenge and in your business to where you're like, you know what, I need to just back off a little bit and let that breathe, okay? Take a look at it. Where have some weeds sprung up? Okay, we're always pulling weeds, right? When we're, when we're growing things, it's just gonna happen. And the good news is that means that the soil is at least fertile enough for that to happen. So conditions are good but you gotta get those weeds out of there because they are taking away the nutrients and the attention that the thing you actually want to grow should be getting. So what weeds around whatever it is that you're doing need to be pulled? Um, what needs more sun, right? What needs more sun? And what does that even mean to you in this context? But I know like a potted plant sometimes, right? If it's in the shade too much, pull it out of the sun or turn it around or whatever you do, and that can make all the difference in the world. Okay, so what needs to be repositioned a little bit? Okay, what do you need to shift your thinking on? What do you need to shift your tactics on? What needs just a little bit more sun? Okay, what needs a little more light? Um, and then what are the soil conditions? Um, and soil conditions, we don't really have a ton of control over that, right? Uh, 
if we look at the weather, I used the instance of this summer in Texas was horribly, it was awfully hot and I had bushes. It didn't matter how much I watered them, they weren't gonna make it, okay? It just wasn't gonna happen. I had others that were. Now I could sit there and try and try and try and do everything I could and there was probably something more I could have done, but I also had to recognize there were things out of my control here. There are seeds that you've planted that the conditions for the person or the, or the context of whatever's going on in their life, you have zero control over that, okay? Um, so it, it might not matter what you do right now. Uh, that seed's not gonna grow yet, okay? So give it time, see what happens, be aware of it, okay? Here's what this looks like practically in your business. I want you to focus on five follow-up activities today, okay, that have to do with anything you've done over the last week. Okay, so going back all the way to the to the uh, the challenge, what needs some follow-up attention? Who needs to be followed up with? So if you reached out to someone about the fundraising program, follow up with them today. That's a good one, right? Or if you reached out to someone about uh, the $47 special, hey, that ends in just a few days. That would be a good one to follow up with. Uh, if you posted something and just need to goose it again, go ahead and jump in there, add some comments, whatever. What, tend your garden. What needs to be tended? Where do you need to follow up? If you did the invitations to the showcase that's gonna occur tonight, right, that we talked about yesterday, reach back out on that. Or if you haven't done that yet, by all means do that. Um, and then the other thing I will add to it, while you're doing all that, I want, I want to challenge you to go in to the Facebook page and the Instagram, if you do, whichever ones of those you do, or if you do both, um, but go into our the official devoted Facebook page and Instagram account and engage with two posts, two posts over the last week, okay? Add a comment, um, share it yourself, whatever it is, but just increase that and let's get the word out there, okay? So that's your challenge for today. Um, tend your garden, get out there and do it, and don't forget about the showcase tonight, 7 p.m. Central Time. See you later, guys. Bye.